I am really excited to look at this James Beard award-winning uh, Kwame and Wachi cookbook. It's My America, Recipes from a Young Black Chef. This is fantastic. I, I've been waiting to get my hands on this cookbook for a while. So let's look inside. Beautiful photography. I think this is a pretty... Well, I'm not seeing a lot of photos in here, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer, but... It does have a lot of really cool stuff in here regardless. So if you're more of a photo person, this might not be for you. I'll go through this really fast though. So we have a pantry uh, section, rice section. There's greens and other vegetables, legumes and tubers, seafood and shellfish, poultry. Uh, we have meat, bread, pastries, and desserts. So here's an introduction. But let's look at some of these stuff. We have all kinds of sauces, like a jerk barbecue sauce, a rummy lod. There's a garlic aioli sauce, which looks fantastic. Uh, there's a rokaido. We have chicken stock even. So lots of basics to get you through the day. Uh, here's some rice dishes. I cannot wait to try some of these dishes. So we have, ooh, rice and peas, very simple recipe. Uh, we have your ingredient list on the side here plus instructions right here and then at the very top an explanation of the dish there's uh, specific parts of the dish so things specific pairings so they give you page numbers for where each pa perfect pairing comes from so for instance uh, jerk chicken in here would be really tasty with the rice and peas and it gives you the page number as well. Here is the Baigun Choka. There's a lot of stuff I've never seen or heard of before in this cookbook, which is pretty amazing. Cucumber and avocado uh, salad? Interesting. That sounds really refreshing. Perfect for summertime. We also have, let's see if I can find other recipes with actual photography. Here's the greens and other vegetables. Look at how vibrant and beautiful that looks more recipes with photos so that you guys can actually see fufu so i okay i just learned about this and i'm wondering if it's gluten free because they require fufu flour and it's a really like you can see here it's pretty soft texture but this is great for curries there's a stew he actually mentions it there's a igusi stew and ground nut stew i am so excited to try this out because there's uh, not a lot of African cuisine here is um, in where I live and I'm really and I've heard so many amazing things about this so I can't wait to make it at home if I can here's some more photography let me find some ooh I'll show you guys some of the desserts because they look really good here is a lamb sambusa with shira watt this looks really good what else do we have here? Ooh, this is beautiful. Wow. Stunning. This, I believe, this is a, I don't think it's the tripe and bean. This is a suya. That's awesome. Here is, we have step-by-step -step photos for some of these recipes. So this is a Jamaican beef patty, and he gives you step-by-step -step recipes on how to put this all together. What else do we have going on here? Some more photography for you guys, especially. Crawfish boil. I was just telling a friend that I've never done this before and it's a dream of mine to actually do this one day. So I I might actually try to get together with some friends and, and accomplish that. That would be awesome. So that's in the seafood section. Let's see if I can find some more recipes in here with photos. Here's a stew peas recipe. And then we have quite a few desserts in here. Let me find it. There's like a red velvet cake, which sounds really good. A currant rolls. Here is the golden rum cake. Oh, that looks amazing. So excited. Here are puff puffs. This looks great. I don't know if I can actually have any of these, but it looks really good. This is from Nigeria. So one thing that's really cool is that He's given us origins for a lot of these dishes. Um, so like zucchini bread, the origin is from American South. 
for some of the other ones, like this fried snapper with bowl a uh, brown stew sauce is from the Caribbean or Caribbean. And then we also have like this mom Duke's shrimp. I believe this is from here in the United States. So I like that we get a little bit of history and culture. Uh, this particular dish, which I can't pronounce, Yakik Alicha is from Ethiopia. So lots of cool stuff throughout here. And we get to learn more about other cultures around the world and their foods as well, specifically more on in Africa, different foods from there and how they've influenced American food as well. So check this out. This is My America, Recipes from a Young Black Chef. This is by Kwame Anwachi. Very awesome. He's a James Beard Award-winning chef. Super amazing. So if you want more cookbooks, come check us out on our Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and our Amazon Live channel. If there's a cookbook you guys want us to check out, make sure to comment down below, let us know, and subscribe so you know, are at least notified when we, we are going live or when there's new videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you later.